Hey, welcome back to the farm, y'all. Uh, this week we got something a little bit different and a little bit fun. We're actually doing a seed, seed growing, growing challenge, challenge with Todd from One Seed, One World. They're another awesome YouTube channel that focuses on growing stuff outdoors from seeds in raised garden beds. So make sure to check out his channel below in the description for the companion video to this. And make sure you stick around to the end of this video because we'll have four tips on helping you to get started with growing seeds outdoors. Now Todd is definitely more of an expert on growing uh, stuff from seeds than I am. So this is definitely going to be a lot of fun, especially because I'm so competitive. So I'll toss it over to Todd for a quick second and an intro on his channel. Hey everybody, my name is Todd and my channel is called One Seed One World. My channel focuses on raised bed gardening as well as some other homesteading things like build projects, chickens, uh, recipes, and random odds and ends. So I'm looking forward to working with uh, the Lacey Family Farm for this Grow Challenge. I think it's going to be kind of exciting and you guys will get to learn a lot of things along with us. And Scott, you're going down. I'm winning this one. Well, I definitely have my work cut out for me. So uh, for this challenge, we are going to be going an interesting, fun, and cool vegetable and that is the, the artichoke. artichoke. So we actually have three different varieties of artichoke that we're going to be growing. So first off, we have the Violet Day Province. Then we have the Colorado Red Star. And to final it all, all out, we have the Green Globe Artichoke. So uh, the rules are going to be pretty simple. We're going to plant seeds and see how many we can get and who has the biggest artichokes at the end of the growing season. So I definitely have my work cut out for me, seeing as Todd is definitely the expert here, but I've definitely snooped over on his channel and did my research on him and all of his videos. And I've definitely learned a whole lot uh, that I'm going to use against him. <laughs> now artichokes have a really cool history and if you guys are interested in the history of artichoke and some of the crazy stories that I had no clue about make sure to go check out Todd's video it'll be linked below in the description and the pinned post uh, he'll have some crazy stories about artichokes as we go through this series of the growing challenge. So for now the plan is gonna be we're gonna go back and uh, start planting our seeds we're gonna plant half of the seeds directly into the ground and then half of them we're gonna do something called vernalizing that's where we're gonna plant the seeds into a starter seed box and wait until they sprout outside. Once they've sprouted, we're gonna take them inside into our refrigerator. And then we're gonna have a grow light inside. We're gonna keep them in the refrigerator in a simulated cold environment for about a week. This is to simulate a winter season because typically artichokes don't actually fruit in their first year. So by vernalizing, you kind of trick it into thinking it's actually been around for more than a year. So we're gonna try that half and half and see how that works. So, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get stuff planting. All right, so as we get started, our first tip for planting seeds outdoors is timing is everything. You really gotta make sure you plant your seeds at the right time of the year. Some you do after the last frost and some you do before the last frost. For example, these artichokes, you do about two months before the last frost. So we're actually kind of late in the planting uh, for these artichokes, but we'll make it happen. All right, and the second tip is your soil needs to be just right. Not only does your soil have to have the right nutrients, but it has to be clean and sterile and ready for use. If you're using pots or uh, seed trays, I recommend starting with new compost just because it's easiest. But if you're using a garden bed like we are here, make sure to either add new compost or you sterilize the soil just to make sure there's no bugs, um, or infestations of anything in your soil before you plant your brand new seeds. If you need help on how to sterilize your soil, especially if you're planting indoors, go ahead and go over to Todd's channel. He has a great video, we'll link below on how to do all that and starting your seeds indoors. All right, so in order to plant these, I'm gonna make sure my soil is nice and compact. And I'm gonna create nice little rows about six inches apart. And I'm just gonna take one seed and penetrate the soil. Thankfully, it's really loose and nice and uh, good soil. And then just put it just about an inch or two below the ground, separating them by about six inches or so uh, between each other. I'm gonna use only half of this raised garden bed to plant seeds directly in the ground. The other half I'm gonna plant in a planter box uh, and so I can vernalize those seeds like we talked about before. The third tip I'm gonna share with you is make sure to keep your ground at the right moisture level. You want the ground to be wet, but you don't want it to be soggy. Uh, you kinda want it to dry out like slightly in between waterings, um, but it you should be moist otherwise. And your fourth tip for planting seeds directly outdoors 
is to use a raised garden bed. By using raised garden beds, you can actually plant two to three weeks earlier in the spring because they warm up faster because they're not in the ground. If you need help making or how to design garden boxes, don't follow my design. But Todd has a really good video that I will also link below in the description that you can follow. His garden beds are amazing. Well, that is pretty much it. Seeds are in the ground, watering system is set, everything is ready to go. Next steps are waiting for it to sprout. Once they sprout, we'll take the ones in the trays, put them in the fridge inside for that vernalizing process, and uh, let that go for about a week, and then bring them back outside and plant them in the other half of the garden box. So uh, that's uh, pretty easy. So make sure to click on the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified when all of our videos do come out each and every Friday, including more episodes in this series, as well as episodes on uh, barn cats. And we got a lot of other stuff about our geese, everything. So thanks a lot for watching. We really appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you next time.